premium economy can be a very smart way to enjoy more comfort and space on long-haul flights without breaking the bank to shell out for business or even first class. And if you're anything like me and don't want to feel like you're being squeezed into a sardine can for hours on end, then maybe you should consider upgrading to a more comfortable experience. You can expect a noticeably better experience than in regular economy, but just how good is it really? And more importantly, is it worth the price? Let me take you through 9 things you really need to know about the hottest trend in airline classes right now. Just make sure to keep on watching till the very end to get all of the best tips and tricks. There is also no secret that some airlines understand this assignment better than others. What should you expect? Think more legroom, increased seat recline, and speedier service for drinks or meals than your pals and coach. But don't expect life flat seats or pod suites either. It's much cheaper than business, but a higher price tag than a regular old economy. A common misconception of premium economy is that it's halfway between economy and business class. It's not. It's very much like economy with a few bells and whistles, such as a larger seat and some other perks. However, it's far from the level of comfort, space, privacy, and luxury found in true international business classes. All in all, you should expect economy plus and not business light. So, what do you get in premium economy? Aside from elevated seat experience, premium economy also includes priority service from flight attendees during meal and drink services. You'll be served before all the folks in the back, and typically offered upgraded options as well as extra snacks and drinks that economy misses out on. No, it's not the five course menu you'll steal glances of in business, but it's an added touch. However, some airlines like British Airways promise the main course will come from the club kitchen, meaning it's a meal of business class quality. Additionally, you may receive in-flight amenities such as an eye mask or toothbrush, upgraded blankets and pillows, and larger screens for viewing entertainment. Premium economy may also allow access to priority boarding and added luggage allowances. As a whole, that's quite a different experience than economy or basic economy, which is known to restrict seat choices, bag allowances, and offer little to no food or drink, let alone luxury amenities. Though the improved seat is the biggest differentiator. A hot tip is to make sure that you check out our video on the top 10 best premium economy classes before booking your next tickets. Check the legroom before booking. Premium economy offers more legroom than regular economy, which is a real perk of the product. Legroom differs from airline to airline though. Typically, premium economy will provide about 5 to 7 extra inches of legroom, plus 1 to 2 extra inches of seat width and 2 to 3 extra inches of recline. On a 12 plus hour flight, every inch counts, and you're likely to have more room than you would on a short regional flight. Also consider that there are usually adjustable leg rests, power ports, and storage space. And you're looking at a seat that's certainly an overall step up from basic economy. There are also often fewer seats in this cabin too. While some jumbo jets use a 343 configuration in coach, Premium may see a 242 or a 232 formation. Make sure to check out SeatGuru.com for the best seats when flying premium economy. On a shorter flight, it might not be worth the money, but on a red eye or long haul flight, those extra inches will go a long way, and you're more likely to arrive rested and ready to go. Betting is better, and you may receive an amenity kit. Real amenity kits are rare in economy, beyond perhaps some flight socks and, if you're lucky, earplugs in case you happen to be seated near some restless infants. You can expect a basic amenity kit in premium economy though. It won't be stocked with Bulgari toiletries, but you should find an eye mask, earplugs, a toothbrush and toothpaste, socks, and perhaps a pen or other inexpensive goodies. The blankets you receive won't be a big fluffy duvet, but it should cover your entire body, unlike the small half-body ones handed out in economy. Also, the pillow should be slightly thicker and plushier, supporting your head and neck without leaving you feeling like you're lying on a deflated balloon, as is often the case in economy. Watch out for the recline in front of you. Premium economy seats recline further than regular economy seats, making them more comfortable for sleeping. They're not lie flat seats or anything close to it, but they cradle the body more than regular economy seats. This comes with its own negatives, however. 
If the passenger in front of you reclines fully, it can seriously intrude upon your personal space. If you're sleeping, this won't have much of an impact on your comfort. However, if you're using a laptop or watching something on a seat back screen, you might find the space and angles tight or even unworkable. If you're in a window seat, you'll need to be quite flexible to be able to squeeze out onto the aisle. How expensive is it? And is it worth the price? The price difference from premium economy to coach can range from as low as 15 to 30 percent to as much as 100 percent. It largely depends on the airline and how far in advance you book your tickets. If you're willing to wait closer to takeoff, that price might drop and offer a more reasonable upgrade. The difference tends to be smaller on charter flights than on international routes when premium economy is essentially a fourth class of service amongst first, business and economy. Having taken several premium economy flights on leading airlines, my advice is that it's worth around 50% more than the cost of a regular economy ticket, whether that is in cash or bonus points. Also, make sure to check out our video on how you can book the cheapest flights on your next trip. While it's more expensive than coach, it's still generally 65% less than business class. But by all means, try it out if you can get a good deal, especially if you've never flown this service before. However, full warning, don't expect a life-changing experience. It's an increasingly popular class of service. For some, premium economy is like a flashback to how airlines were 40 years ago. And I don't disagree. Some things were, after all, better in the past. First introduced some 30 years ago by Taiwanese carrier Ava Air Premium Economy, has been popular with both British Airways and Virgin Atlantic for decades. While some other carriers have been reluctant to install them in fear of losing customers to their business class product, Qatar being one of them, Emirates was also hesitant of installing them on their aircraft. However, Emirates recently began installing Premium Economy aboard its flagship Airbus A380 aircraft, recognizing its potential as a revenue stream. Swiss Air and KLM have also started to introduce premium economy to their aircrafts. It can be a smart use of points and miles. Once you've booked a regular economy ticket, you have a few options to upgrade, should you choose. As the departure date nears, some airlines offer passengers the opportunity to bid for cheaper premium economy tickets. You can do a bit of research to see the cost of the seat for your flight online and then bid around 20 to 30 percent less. But don't expect to bid five dollars thinking you're going to pull a fast one on the airline. There's usually a minimum to spend. While cash prices for premium economy can be eye-wateringly high if you're unlucky, the additional points or miles required for redeeming are usually far more reasonable. An example of this is that you only need 7,500 points to upgrade from London to New York with Virgin Atlantic. So what's the bottom line? Well, premium economy provides a way to ensure a little more space and comfort on your next journey. There are noticeable differences from regular economy, including more legroom, a wider seat, and some priority perks. Be aware that it's very much economy plus and not business minus. Rather than sitting midway between the two classes of service, you'll need to fly business or first class for a truly premium experience. And that is all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation-related content. And until next time, safe travels.